Hey there kids and welcome to another exciting episode of Fully's Kids Online. Wow, four weeks. This is our fourth episode. Who would have ever thought that we would still be in our houses four weeks into this? I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all having fun and I'm really looking forward to spending today with you. Um, it's going to be a little bit different today. We've got a song at the end, Women Activity, and I'm also going to introduce you to two of my friends. So I think before I go on, I want to introduce them. The one's name is Glumpy. Now you'll see immediately why his name is Glumpy. And then the other guy, oh, much, much different, Chippy. So let's watch this video and let's see what Glumpy and Chippy is up to. <sighs> I am so bored. It's the same over and over and over and over and over and over again. Every day being stuck in the house, having to play computer games, watching TV again and again and again. <sighs> Nobody knows the troubles I have. Nobody knows my sorrow. What, what time is it? I'm late, to, I'm late to school. Oh, wait a minute. It's lockdown. There's no school. <sighs> another day. Another day to spend with my family. Another day to enjoy life. Ah. Oh. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me and I've got the joy of the Lord in me. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me and I've got the joy of the Lord. Wow, what about that? I sure have some really weird friends, eh? So, what do you think about Glumpy? Poor guy. I mean... He probably has a reason to be upset and to be sad. I mean, nobody likes being stuck at home for so long. But his attitude is just complaining and just thinking of all the bad things that are happening. And he's just not having a very good time. And then, Chippy. What a difference. I know he needs a haircut, but I mean, he hasn't had a haircut in four weeks. But Chippy has the right attitude. He's also in lockdown, but he decided that he's going to make the best of it. And he's going to enjoy spending time with his family. He's going to enjoy just having that extra time. And he's even praising God. And that is the attitude that we are supposed to have. So today we are going to learn about two people in the Bible that had a very similar attitude. These two guys actually ended up going to prison. Now, prison is not a fun place to go. And you would think that people going to prison won't be very happy. What makes it worse, as you'll see in the story, is these two guys went to prison for doing something good. Can you believe that? But the question is, are they going to react like Glumpy or are they going to react like Chippy? So let's watch this Bible video and we'll talk about it afterwards. Enjoy! Slapstick Theatre Paul and Silas this is Paul, oh, hey. who told people about Jesus in lots of different places. One day, Paul was walking with his friend Silas. Hey, yo. They were being followed by a girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her owners used her to make money. After days and days of this happening, Paul got so annoyed that he turned around and told the evil spirit to leave her. So the girl was freed. But her owners got mad at Paul and Silas because they wouldn't make any money off of her anymore. Yeah. 
and they had them thrown in jail. The jailer locked them up. Oh, man. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God, and the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and the chains of all the prisoners fell off. Oh, what just happened? But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. See ya! Wow, I love this story. Paul and Silas preaching the word, helping people, praying for people, and then they end up in prison. That's just terrible. They're doing the work of God, they're doing the right thing, and they end up in a dark, damp prison. I don't think they could have been very happy about it, but they decided to rather look at the bright side. They had all the reason to complain, being in prison for something they didn't do. I'm sure you get angry as well when you get blamed for something that you didn't do. But they decided in the middle of the night to sit and to praise God. And then the miracle happened. Earthquake, doors went open, chains came off, and they didn't run away. They decided to stay and tell the people about all the great things that God did for them. What an amazing attitude. At this moment, we are stuck for four weeks now in our homes. And I'm sure you miss your friends, you miss your family. Some of you miss going to school. Some of you miss that you can't go and play your sports and things like that. And it's easy to, at this time, to, to get grumpy and to be like lumpy. But God actually wants us to be happy. And we should focus on the good things. Paul, who was in the story and went to prison, later on went to write one of the books of the Bible. He wrote quite a few. But in one of the books that he wrote, a letter that he wrote to the Philippians, in chapter 4, verse 4, so very easy to remember, Philippians 4, verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. So very easy to remember. Philippians 4 verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. That should be our attitude. Whether we're in prison or lockdown or wherever, we should be like Chippy praising God. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So normally when we come to Philly's Kids, we always have praise and worship, and we dance, and we clap, and we make a noise. And today, you guys are going to make that noise right there in your homes. So what I want you to do is just pause the video, go grab a pot or a pan or something that you can bang against each other. Maybe you have a music instrument. Get everybody in the family together. Get everybody to have a musical instrument. And then we are going to make a noise. But not just any noise, a joyful noise. So we're going to sing along with this song, and the song is very easy. It actually comes from the Bible as well. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. So, are you ready? Let's do this. And then this week, as you go, you wake up every morning, remember you've got a choice. Are you going to be like Glumpy, or are you going to be like Chippy? And I can promise you, if we have Chippy's attitude, then our life will be a lot happier. So even though it's not a great time, let's choose to thank God. Let's choose to be happy. Let's choose to say, I'm not in a great place, but God is still good. There's lots of things that I can be thankful for. So let's watch this video. Let's sing the song. Let's make a noise. And then I'll see you back again next week, right here on Fully Skits Live. Enjoy this.
Are you guys ready to rock it out for Jesus? 